Hey everyone, it's Miss Hernandez back for another lesson. Today we're going to be doing lesson 118. What lesson? Get ready. Yes, 118. But before we start, we're obviously going to do a warm up, right? Okay. All right. This time, let's see what we'll do. Mm, I know what we'll do. Okay, we're going to do opposites. So listen. I'm thinking about a man who is not tall. He's the opposite of tall. So what do you know about him? Get ready. Yes, he's short. Now I'm thinking about a bridge that is not wet. It's the opposite of wet. So what do you know about it? Get ready. It's dry. Awesome. Now listen, I'm thinking about a ball that is not big. It's the opposite of big. So what do you know about it? Get ready. Good, it's small. Good job. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with our first exercise. All right, listen, here's an action game. Everybody, smile. Get ready. Ooh, look at that beautiful smile. All right, stop smiling. Now tell me if I do the same thing you did or something different. Watch me. Did I do the same thing or something different? Get ready. Yes, the same thing. Watch me. Did I do the same thing or something different? Get ready. Something different. All right, watch me. Did I do the same thing or something different? Get ready. Something different. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, you did something different. Good job. All right, let's go ahead and go on to the next exercise. Listen, I'm going to do something. See if you can figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to cry, touch my back, or pat my head. Listen again. I'm going to cry, touch my back, or pat my head. What am I going to do? Get ready. Yes, cry or touch your back or pat your head. Listen, am I going to cry? Get ready. Maybe. Am I going to touch my back? Get ready. Maybe. Am I going to eat an ice cream? Get ready. No. Am I going to pat my head? Get ready. Maybe. Listen, I'm going to cry or touch my back or pat my head. What am I going to do? Get ready. Yes, cry or touch my back or pat my head. Here I go. Did I cry? Get ready. No. Did I touch my back? Get ready. No. Did I pat my head? Get ready. Yes. What did I do? Get ready. 
Yes, pat my head, save the whole thing, get ready. Good job, you patted your head. Good job, awesome exercise. We're gonna go ahead and go on to the next one. All right, listen, we're going to be talking about the classes things are in. Everybody, what class is a restaurant in? Get ready. Yes, buildings. What class is a bush in? Get ready. Yes, plants. What class is a tree in? Get ready. Yes, plants. And what class is a flower in? Get ready. Yes, plants. All right, listen. A tree and a restaurant. Are they in the same class or in different classes? Get ready. Yes, you're right. They are in different classes. What class is a tree in? Get ready. Yes, plants. Is a restaurant in the same class? Get ready. No, it's not in the same class. So a tree and a restaurant, restaurant are in different classes. Listen, a tree and a bush, are they in the same class or in different classes? Get ready. You're right, they are in the same class. What class is a tree in? Get ready. Yes, plants. Is a bush in the same class? Get ready. Yes. So a tree and a bush are in the same class. What about a tree and a flower? Are they in the same class or in different classes? Get ready. You're right, they are in the same class. What class is a tree in? Get ready. Yes, plants. Is a, tr is a flower in the same class? Get ready. Yes, so a tree and a flower are in the same class. So easy that exercise, huh? All right, on to the next one. We're going to tell why things are the same and why they are different. Listen, a bird and an airplane. Think about them. Why are they the same? Wow, that was an awesome response. That's one way they are they are the same. Listen, I'm going to name some ways that they are different. Listen, a bird is alive, but an airplane is not alive. Everybody say that. Get ready. Yes, a bird is alive, but an airplane is not alive. That's one way they are different. Listen, a bird is an animal, but an airplane is not an animal. Everybody say that. Get ready. Yes, a bird is an animal, but an airplane is not an animal. That's another way they are different. Now it's your turn. Raise your hand if you can name a way that a bird and an airplane are different. You know it? Okay, go ahead and tell me. Whoa, you were definitely paying attention. All right. Keep thinking about ways that they are different, okay? 
because maybe later on we'll definitely be asking again. For right now, we're going to go on to the next exercise, okay? Listen, think of things that are made of wood. Remember, we're thinking about things that are made of wood. Let's see if you can name at least three things that are made of wood. Think about them. Three things that are made of wood. You have 10 seconds. Oh my goodness, did you get to three? Did you get all three? Good job. All right, now we're gonna be thinking about things that are made of rubber. See if you can name three things that are made of rubber. You're gonna have 10 seconds again, okay? Ready, set, go. Three things made of rubber. Did you name three things? Good job. All right, last one. Make sure you keep that thinking hat on. Listen, you're gonna think of things that are made of leather. Let's see if you can name three things that are made of leather. You have another 10 seconds. Ready, set, go. Did you say all three? Good job again. You're just getting really good at this. All right. On to the next exercise. Listen, we're going to play a word game. I'm thinking about a bridge that is the opposite of long. So what do you know about it? Get ready. It's short. Listen, I'm thinking about pigs that are the opposite of old. So what do you know about them? Get ready. Yes, they're young. Listen, last one. I'm thinking about an alligator that is the opposite of short. So what do you know about it? Get ready. It's long, good job. Super short, huh? Okay, on to the next one. Let's see how much information you remember. What do we call a forest in a hot place? Get ready. A jungle. Say the whole thing about a jungle. Get ready. Awesome, a jungle is a forest in a hot place. What do we call a person who helps keep people safe? Get ready. Yes, a police officer. Say the whole thing about a police officer. Get ready. A police officer is a person who helps keep people safe. What do we call something you take to get well? Get ready. Yes, medicine. Say the whole thing about medicine. Get ready. Yes, medicine is something you take to get well. What do we call a person who drives a vehicle? Get ready. A driver. Say the whole thing about a driver. Get ready. Yes, a driver is a person who drives a vehicle. Now get ready for some new information. Listen. A passenger is a person who rides in a vehicle. 
What do we call a person who rides in a vehicle? Get ready. A passenger. Say the whole thing about a passenger. Get ready. Yes, a passenger is a person who rides in a vehicle. What do you call something you take to get well? Get ready. Yes, medicine. Say the whole thing about medicine. Get ready. Medicine is something you take to get well. Listen, what do we call a person who rides in a vehicle? Get ready. A passenger. Say the whole thing about a passenger. Get ready. Awesome. A passenger is a person who rides in a vehicle. Good job. All right, on to the next exercise. Listen, figure out this problem and I'll show you the picture on the next page. Listen, the woman will drop some of the dishes. Ooh, let me get closer so you can see, okay? Listen, the woman will drop some of the dishes. What will the woman do? Get ready. Yes, drop some of the dishes. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, the woman will drop some of the dishes. Will the woman drop all of the dishes? Get ready. No. Listen, the woman will drop all of the cups. Are these dishes cups? Get ready. No. So will the woman drop these dishes? Get ready. No. Are these dishes cups? Get ready. Yes. So will the woman drop these dishes? Get ready. Yes. Will the woman drop all of the dishes? Get ready. No. Will the woman drop some of the dishes? Get ready. Yes. Which dishes will the woman drop? Get ready. The cups. Let's see if you're right. You ready? Okay. Look at the picture. Did the woman drop some of the dishes? Get ready. Yes. Did the woman drop all of the dishes? Get ready. No. Which dishes did she drop? Get ready. The cups. Did she drop all of the cups? Get ready. Yes. Say the whole thing about what the woman did. Get ready. The woman dropped all of the cups. Now answer these questions. What kind of dishes are these? Get ready. Yes, plates. Where are the plates? Get ready. On the tray. Say the whole thing about where the plates are. Get ready. 
Yes, the plates are on the tray. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't you feel so sad if you ever dropped the cups? Yeah, that has definitely happened to Miss Hernandez too. All right, on to the next exercise. Let's see if you remember the parts of these objects. Get ready to tell me the parts of a table. Say the whole thing. Get ready. A table has a top. Get ready. Yes, a table has legs. And what's the whole object called? Get ready. A table. And what do we usually do at a table? Eat. Do our homework. Mm, those are really good answers. Listen, get ready to tell me the parts of a car. Say the whole thing. Get ready. A car has a bumper. Get ready. A car has a hood. Get ready. A car has a door. Get ready. A car has a roof. Get ready. A car has wheels. Get ready. A car has a trunk. And what do you call the whole object? Get ready. A car. And what do you usually do with a car? You drive it or you ride in it. You're so right. All right. Now get ready to tell me the parts of an umbrella. Say the whole thing. Get ready. An umbrella has a frame. Get ready. An umbrella has a handle. Get ready. An umbrella has a covering. And what's the whole object called? Get ready. An umbrella. And what do you usually do with an umbrella? Ooh, it helps cover you from the rain and the sun. Good guesses. All right. Get ready to tell me the parts of a broom. Say the whole thing. Get ready. A broom has a handle. Get ready. A broom has bristles. And what do you call the whole object? Get ready. A broom. And what do you usually do with a broom? Ooh, yep, you sweep up messes that happen on the floor. Definitely. All right. Look at the objects on this page. All of these objects are in the same class. What class is that? Get ready. Yes, plants. Listen, what kind of plant is this? Get ready. A tree. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. A bush. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. A cabbage. What kind of plant is this? Get ready. A flower. 
Everybody, what's the rule about plants? Get ready. Good. If it grows in the ground, it's a plant. Now let's look at the objects on the next page. Listen, does this grow in the ground? Get ready. Yes. So what do you know about cabbage? Get ready. It's a plant. What kind of plant? Get ready. Yes, cabbage. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. This plant is a cabbage. Does this grow in the ground? Get ready. Yes. So what do you know about a flower? Get ready. It's a plant. What kind of plant? Get ready. A flower. Say the whole thing about this plant. Get ready. This plant is a flower. Does this grow in the ground? Get ready. No. So what do you know about a purse? Get ready. It's not a plant. Say the whole thing about a purse. Get ready. A purse is not a plant. Does this grow in the ground? Get ready. No. So what do you know about a pot? Get ready. It's not a plant. Say the whole thing about a pot. Get ready. Good, a pot is not a plant. Good job. Guess what? Oh my goodness, I didn't even see this coming. We are done. Okay, go ahead and look for your worksheet. Make sure it says 118. I'll give you five seconds to get there. Four, three, two, one. All right. Find the shaded rectangle. Did you find it? Awesome. Listen, here's the coloring rule for this picture. Make all the tri Ooh, make all the rectangles orange. What's the rule? Get ready. Yes, make all the rectangles orange. So mark the rectangle at the top of the page. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Some of the rectangles have a part missing. So before you color each rectangle, you're going to follow the dots with your crayon. Later, you're going to color all of the objects. All right, down at the bottom. Listen, find the hat. Did you find it? Awesome. Now listen, when I clap, hold up your purple crayon. Get ready. Awesome. What color is that crayon? Get ready. Yes, purple. Everybody, you are going to color the shoe purple. So put a purple mark on the shoe. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one. What color is that mark? Get ready. Yes, purple. Listen, you're going to color the shirt pink. So put a pink mark on the shirt. 
you should be done in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. What color is that mark? Get ready. Yes, pink. Everybody, you are going to color the hat green. So put a green mark on the hat. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one. Later, you're going to color all the objects. Remember, the marks show you what colors to make the shoe, the shirt, and the hat. You'll make the other objects any color you want. All right, go ahead and flip your worksheet over. You there? Okay, awesome. Listen, find the butterfly. Did you find it? Okay, good. These pictures show one and more than one. One picture shows hats. Touch that picture. Here's the coloring rule for the picture that shows hats. The hats in that picture should be red. Make a red mark in the picture. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, here's the next rule. The cups should be brown. So listen, look for the picture that shows cups. And the cups in that picture should be brown. Make a brown mark in the picture that shows cups. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Here's a rule for the picture that shows cats. The cats should be black. Make a black mark in the picture that shows cats. You should be done in five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, here's the last rule. The objects that you don't color red, brown, or black should be yellow. So listen carefully. The objects that you didn't color red, brown, or black, they should be yellow. What color should the objects that are not brown, red, and black? Get ready. Yes, yellow. Remember, the objects that are not red, brown, and black should be yellow. Make a mark to show what color you'll make those pictures. You have five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right, down at the bottom, the last one. Find a pencil. Did you find it? Okay, awesome. The boxes at the top show what the other boxes should look like, but some of the boxes are wrong. Listen, what's in the first box? Get ready. Yes, it is a pencil and a kite. Listen, circle every box that has a pencil as the first object or a kite as the second object. You should be done in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and zero. Listen, what's in the other box at the top? Get ready. Yes, a leaf and a snake. 
circle every box that has a leaf as the first object or a snake as the second object. You're gonna have another 10 seconds, okay? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Later, you'll fix the boxes that are circled so they look like one of the boxes at the top. Cross out the boxes that are wrong. Don't forget to cross them out, okay? All right, that was it. That's our lesson. That's our last lesson for the week. So I'll see you guys again on Monday. Bye, everyone.